UMass football applying the full Nelson to Northeastern. The Minutemen taking care of the Huskies yesterday, 28-24 in Brookline. And one of the biggest reasons, Tony Nelson sporting more carries than your average NBA game. Yeah, to say Nelson put in a full day's work, kind of like saying the stock market right now a little fluctuating. The junior career high, 37 carries, 175 yards. It's his fifth career 100-yard rushing game, his fourth this season. And while he did cough one up near the goal line, UMass should do whatever they can to get Nelson near 100 yards because the Minutemen, a perfect 4-0 this season when he tops triple digits. I'd like to see them hold on to the football. They had to, you know, put the game away for us, but, you know, that's why you play the game, you know, and uh, he was right back there and, and obviously had a big hand of not letting them get the ball back there on that last series. You know, we wanted to run the football, you know, that's something we wanted to do and we wanted to maintain the pass game and um, late in the game, though, I mean, it was the Tony Nelson show and the offensive line played their butts off. As the game goes along, you know, I start feeling out the defense more, knowing where they're going to be at, and uh, as, as the fourth quarter came, I kind of knew, you know, what the defense was going to do. And, um, and that's what I think was the big success in my long runs. Yeah, a great game there for UMass. Well, meanwhile, when is putting on 45 pounds a good thing? For me, never. But when you're a basketball player going from layups to linemen, that's a good thing. One of the anchors of the UMass offensive line, a colorful character known to some as Big Ben. CBS3 Springfield, Scott Harris now spending a few minutes with Emerson, Ben Coblin. My name is Ben Cobb and I play right tackle for the UMass football team. I'm from Amherst, Massachusetts, and here's a few minutes with me. Ben, he's a force on the offensive line, surprising since he comes to UMass after a one-year stint on the Boston College hoop scene. It's really like learning how to ride a bike all over again. I mean, I played in high school, but high school football and college football, uh, there's, there's really nothing similar between the two. A man who intimidates defenses while protecting quarterback Liam Cohen and also opening holes for the Minutemen run game. But can you believe that he's got finesse from playing D1 varsity basketball? The first thing I have to say is I did average a little over four fouls a game when I was playing basketball. So <laughs> even though it is a finesse game, I wasn't always good at that part. I put on about 45 pounds in a semester, came here, and uh, Coach Brown off gave me the opportunity to play offensive line, said, that's where we need you to play. Are you willing to, you know, sacrifice the plans you had to come here and play a different position to play offensive line? And, it was Coach Brown's very persuasive guy, and he's just been a great coach, so it's been no problem doing whatever he asked me. Now, here's something you might not know about Big Ben. He's a history major with a focus on elementary education. After his days on the gridiron are over, he already knows what the future holds for him. Quite unselfishly, he wants to help others less fortunate than he. I'm a substitute teacher for learned disabled kids, physically and, 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 and kids with uh, autism and and um, kids with Down syndrome and, and kids with um, MS and, and it's just something that uh, I've been blessed with uh, uh, an athletic gift and a size and whatnot and there's kids out there that aren't blessed and so I figure the blessed ones are the ones that are supposed to help the ones that aren't so blessed. That's the way I see it. I kind of see it as that's my job. I got to give back. At this point, I won't lie, I'm getting a little choked up. So let's lighten things up. Time for some one-on-one. -on -one. I figure the only way I'm going to score is to get inside. Had to push my way around. Although Coblin, on the other hand, used me like a blocking sled. It made me look like a tackle dummy. <laughs> Got me breaking a sweat on my off day. Oh well, then I accomplished a small victory for my humility. That's a few minutes with UMass offensive lineman Ben Coplin. I'm Scott Harris reporting for the UMass Coaches Show Weekly on CBS3 Springfield. Way to go, Scott. Meanwhile, jump over to Garber Field. We do the proud crowd taking this one in. UMass field hockey team hosting St. Louis. Second half, UMass dominating already in this one. Already up 4 to nothing. Senior captain Mary Shea. Some fine stickery. Reverse stick shot. Finds the net. Finished with a goal. Two assists in this one. UMass up 5 to nothing. UMass blasting the Billikens on offense. They outshot them 23 to 8. UMass goes on to win this one 5 to nothing. They're now 2 0 in the league. 10 and 3 overall. The 17th ranked Minute Women traveling to play LaSalle on Friday. Now, as for today's win, Coach Justine Sowery says there's no place like home. When we come back here to Garba Field, it's just a, a beautiful surface to play great hockey on, and we're able to get a lot of players in and get back to the passing game, and to score five goals, cannot complain. It was a very big game because it was our second um, Atlantic 10 game, so our second conference game, and um, we just really focus on going out there and playing hard from right from the beginning and just playing our game. 